Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Meghnath once again. In the previous module, we learnt about operators in C. We learnt about arithmetic operators, relational operators, logical operators, shift operators, and we also learnt about um, assignment operators, and most importantly, we learnt about unary operators. Like we learnt about pre-increment, post-increment, pre-decrement, post-decrement, etc. Now in this module, we will see so this is module 7 and we will learn about control structures. Now basically where do we use these control structures and why they call it as, so these are also called as flow control structures. Now, now let's learn this. Let me open notepad and now before we understand this let's take, uh, let me reduce the font size. Now let's take you doing a project for retail market you're writing a simple software and your client said that if the person uh, if the customer has got quantity of two and uh, the client said provide a 20 percent discount on the total price if the quantity is greater than or equal to three provide a discount of 30 percent now you need to write code in such a way that based on this logic the decision has been made so based on this logic, if quantity is 2, you ha you need to write logic with the 20% uh, discount. If quantity is greater than or equal to 3, you need to provide logic of 30%. Now this kinds of decision making will help to skip some statements or um, join the logic based on the condition. So these uh, conditional statements are repetitive statements or we have um, categorized into control structures. Now let's try to have a look at this list of control structures before we jump in to write some examples, right? So let's see this now. We will see the list of control structures. Now you can see here control structures or flow control structures are categorized into two types. One is branching. So branching is basically like based on a condition, take a decision in which flow you want to, which uh, direction you want to go ahead. So if condition is the most uh, widely used one, if else, so in case if you have uh, conditions like what we saw previously, if, else, if, else, if, else, if, else. So this is like a nested if, else, or, or uh, a sequence of if, else conditions. So we'll see an example for this in the next uh, module. And a switch case. A switch case is also used for branching, where one uh, condition you need to execute when you have like multiple options. So based on um, based on the condition, based on the user selection, you want to execute only one statement from, let's take 10 statements, so we'll go for switch case. And we'll also see about conditional operator, how if else can be written in single line using conditional operator. So all these comes under branching because the code flow happens um, based on the condition, one, uh, one of the statements get executed. Now coming back to looping, let's take you want to do some repetitive tasks. So you want to print hello five times. So you can use a for loop to print five times. Or you can use a while loop uh, to print hello five times. So, and a do while loop. So for loop, while loop, and do while loop are categorized into looping. And we'll see some examples and where exactly we can use them in real world projects. So, so control structures are categorized into branching and looping. And branching we have if, if else, if else, if else, if um, else statement and switch case and condition operator. So we'll see that in detail in the next module. And looping, is for loop, while loop, and do while loop. We'll see more details in the further modules. So with that, join. Let's join us in the sec in the next module. Thank you.